Well done, my boy. In that car's trunk, you'll find a data cube with the encrypted backup files for the Velocity X project. It will take some time for Gearhead to extract the information, but it's well worth the wait, I assure you. Meanwhile, I must depart. Farewell. Wait, Dad, what about Otto? Incoming transmission. Fast lane for Scotty. Sweet. I wasn't sure if this would work. Now, shall we dispense with the formalities and get right down to the lovely business at hand? <laughs> what do you want? Is leather still in these days? Just a little friendly biz with the Justice Clan. You don't mind, do you? We'll forgive your nasty little escapades in the bay. For now. Get to the point, Fast Lane. Ooh, Max. So assertive. This'll be more fun than I thought. I've been instructed to offer you a little racing challenge. You've obviously got some stuff that Otto wants, namely that little uranium shipment, and maybe a cute little car or two. Care to wager? And if I win? Perhaps there's a bit of information that might interest you, or should I say your father? Think quickly, little boy. I haven't got all day to chat. She's all mine, Max. Let me take her. Thanks, Sparky. But I think I should be the one giving her a driving lesson. Let's do this, fast lane. This one isn't gonna be a cakewalk, Max. The road's gonna be tough. And don't expect her to play fair or alone. Welcome back to bus only. This black screen is gone to last an uncomfortably long time. Because I need to open something I forgot to open. But after that, everything should be well. Here we go. I need to find the list of cars. Of who's who. Now then. So, although nobody really seemed to make much mention, or make much of a big deal of it, we do have confirmation that the one behind this is auto. Not that, that probably surprises anyone, but oh well. So, I'm not sure if I should be using Atom Blaster or something else, now that I think about it. But it might be good to use something that it mainly doesn't do as much damage, but hits more easily. The Magnet Mine is the main one. Doom Disc I never had a good time with. Also, things do surprise me how damage or repair might not be a bad idea either. Oil Drum is always able to stunlock enemies. I might try that out. It's less damage if I can stunlock enemies, then it doesn't really matter how much damage I'm doing. Unless I need to defeat enemies quickly. We'll see. Also, one character I, know I forgot to actually mention with all the other characters I was mentioning in the Justice Household in the last few episodes. What? Why do you start me facing the other way? Was what happened to Track T? Kind of. And by that I mean we actually have no idea where Track T went. Yeah, nobody's seen Track T since World's Best Driver. And things are probably going to stay that way. Everyone has their own ideas as to what happened. That's a lot of boost. That's the handbrake again. That's the handbrake. Okay. Just things that happen when you haven't played for as long as I haven't played this game. That being a week. Uh. And all of a sudden, the tires on this car no longer exist effectively. Bye. Oh, wait, those are lots of little XT3 clones. Okay, we've seen XT3 clones and X. And. Ow. I forgot you could just side shift it to people. To attack. And Grease Lightning clones. Think of that what you will. Side shifting is actually pretty good way of dealing with these guys. Arrow, could you just, like, do something useful? If these guys are going the same direction as me, so they're probably... They're probably going in the right way, vaguely? I swung these guys earlier, and the arrow is pointing in the other direction for the longest time. I forgot just how hard this game's issues were with the GPS. Oh, there we are. So, we are at the, indeed at the docks. 
But that's the thing. So this time, I just simply don't believe what the game says. I need to be somewhere over here. Well, I don't think this is actually where I need to be going. I do wish this game oh, had a review camera or something, but I don't think it does. Also, those pistons just look so ridiculous to me. They're just too animated. Uh, Minimap. Seems to suggest we can go through here. There you go. Alright. Quite odd they chose to give this game of all things a light motif. I mean, I like light motifs. Well, only a little damage. We're fine. Let's grease lightnings again. Alright. See anything like stun locks. Although trying to use only the barrel here would probably be a bad idea. Even if I can stun lock these guys. Should probably use this for instance. There we go. There we go. It's ridiculous seeing grease lightning with this much health. I remember being to stun lock enemies better with. No, no energy shields. There's never being a stun lock enemies better with these the barrels. At least pick these up too. It gives me plenty of boost, but not much for my weapons. I would appreciate it if you didn't. It's ridiculous how much damage these enemies can now magically do to up us by ramming it. But I can still ram them, evidently. Although they actually have shields. Which is a lot more annoying. There we go. Something. Let's not leave. Whoa. Where's the lag coming from? It's weird. At least I can get to see speed enough to side shift with these guys. There we go. I don't remember side shifting is actually what it's called in this game, or it's just because that's what it's called in pipe out that I'm calling it that. It does seem to help though. A little bit. Side shifting does seem to be an actual. We have damage in these guys, as stupid as it feels. Okay. Now we get to what should be the hard part the race, considering the car run. Oh, what car is that one? Isn't that one burn? One second. Give me a second to look here. That's f flash fire, isn't that? Or a spun image. Darn it, that's silhouette or burn? Might be, I, so it would be more appropriate. I think we saw burn somewhere else. I don't remember. Yeah, flash fire was burn. Never mind. Also, by the way, hey, get back here. Also interesting, it takes all your weapons on you. It's these sections. I have to use some more dishonest tactics here. Get back here. Ah! Oh jeez, got jackknifed. As much as a bus can get jackknifed. At that point, it's just a pit maneuver, I guess. Ah! So, so far, every win I've had in a race, I'm pretty sure is because my opponent just not being able to actually 
drive along the course. I think I should pick that up. As opposed to anything else. Although I... I know, I was probably catching up to them just then. Just didn't catch up well enough. There we go. Wait. Okay, I thought that was the end of the race, but apparently not. Arrow's still laying me wherever. There's still things to pick up here. Oh, okay. We just happen to have multiple checkered lines to cross before we actually get to the end. That's not confusing in the slightest. Oh, jeez! It's just a demonstration. I I'm still a driving instructor, and a good one at that. It's a demonstration of how to regain control of your car. So if you're wondering, I don't think I've actually explained it yet. If you're wondering what I'm doing when I... do this weird boosting thing where I keep mashing the boost button. Don't actually boost. It's a little exploit because whenever you press the boost button, or whenever you start boosting, you get extra speed. You get an extra kick at the start of your boost. So aside, so if you keep mashing the boost button, aside from just the fact that this thing needs more power, get up there. It has a lot of power, it just doesn't go up very quickly, but it can get up some pretty serious inclines. This is bad terrain for me. But aside from just saving you boost as a result of that, you're also getting that extra little kick at the beginning of every single boost you do. This is... Okay, I was hoping that was the end. I was splitting the image, because that was still... Why is someone out here in help work out working against us too? History deepens. I do appreciate this game has lots of different victory and failure themes, by the way. I don't think I noticed on my first playthrough. But it's actually for each different song that plays, which is nice. I love details like that. You may have gained a few points in my book, Max, but don't think this little charade is about me. Next time you get a chance, ask your old man about his old friend, Otto Von Diesel. Wish I could stick around. That'll be quite the juicy little family discussion. <laughs> Later, drive boy. I finished my analysis of that map you picked up at the roller coaster. It's a map of Burnout Glacier. Looks like a meeting is gonna happen with a group of lowlifes, and Otto is with them. Otto was a member of the Hot Wheels engineering team that your father started. Was that they the best photo they had of him? Advanced vehicle designs, among other things, until Otto was dismissed for bypassing safety procedures. After that, records indicating his whereabouts have been unclear. Uh, hold on, I think I've got something here. Frequency determination successful. Otto Von Diesel communication system active. Decoding communications. Cool. Two can play at this game. I've managed to target in on Otto's transmission frequency. Let's see what he can tell us. Rocket's telemetry established. Targeting systems locked on Burnout Glacier. Encased volcano determined dormant. Determination of successful activation of volcano based on double rocket impact. Positive. Okay, not good. Max, someone's gotta stop this. Sounds like my work is cut out for me. Swing by that meeting, see what's going on, make my way to the volcano, and disable those rockets before they have a chance to do any harm. I totally forgot Metacog was actually in the console version. I really did. It's weird seeing him every time. So, in that case, there's a question of what Otto actually wants with the professor at this point. Why the professor was taken. But we'll just have to wait and see what answers lie before us. Oh, we could speculate. Maybe we'll do that next episode. Whatever the case. See you next time, guys.